Um, so I'm Kim Bayer. I'm the president of Slow Food Huron Valley, and I'm one of the organizers of the first Michigan Good Food Film Festival. I had been thinking that we need a food film festival in Washtenaw County, and so I was talking to my friend Victoria, and she also thought that it was a fantastic idea. When we first started talking about the Michigan Good Food Film Festival and, you know, what we would do and how we would put it together. We decided that we wanted it to be pretty open. Um, the organizers all have a distinct opinion about what good food is, but we really wanted to start a community conversation about what good food is and to have people from all walks of life and not necessarily just food advocates um, participate in the conversation. Yeah, my name's Ian Mendel. I'm a student here at Washtenaw Community College. Uh, we actually entered a movie into the film festival on the uh, Detroit's food desert. There's no stores available around here besides liquor stores. The grocery stores, half of them are burned out. There's no more stores here in the neighborhood for anybody. And what's sad about it is you got a lot of seniors who have to go way out to get fresh vegetables. We have people who have more access to liquor than they do to food. And that is not good. Here in the suburbs, you know, we sort of take it for granted that, you know, there's a grocery store just right down the way, and a lot of people in Detroit and um, other urban areas, they just don't have that ability to, you know, go to a grocery store that's nearby. So I think it's important to really publicize it and hopefully it will make some changes. We have three judges, um, Chris Bedford of Chris Bedford Films. He has done a lot of really great documentary work uh, in for Food System. And Eric Villegas is the host for Fork in the Road. And then um, Jennifer White is from Michigan Radio. We were actually all on the same page. I think when we went to judge, we found that we were pretty much in line with one another. Very much so. I, I mentioned earlier that I have never judged film festival before, lots of food festivals. But generally, if stuff is good, yeah. everybody sees it. For our first year, it's great. We didn't really have any set expectations. So it's really nice to see the entries that we did get in the wide range. Lots of passion, lots yeah. of love, lots about local foods. It was nice. I especially enjoyed seeing the amount of attention urban areas are being given. Um, especially Detroit, because there is a lack of fresh produce there. And to see that there are people really dedicated to providing alternatives for people who can't easily find them, I, I thought that was wonderful. We're already talking about doing the second annual Good Food Film Festival and releasing the, the call for films in time for people to be able to um, create the films during the growing season. I truly hope they do it again because it was really exciting and I think it, it really shines a light on something that's really important across the country but especially in Michigan because of our diverse agriculture a lot of people don't even know about it and then when we see some of the stories from the urban cities and they're fighting for food and it's plentiful everywhere else it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. The stories of the food and farms and the people that are producing this amazing food is something that's inspiring to people and that makes people care about this place and that's why it's important.